Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn basic concept of clustering, how to prepare data file, how to import data in R, packages used in R, distance measuring methods and a simple way to visualize the distance matrix. There are other methods to get elegant visualization of the data which will be discussed later on in next video. Clustering is the task of dividing the population or data points into a number of groups such that data points in the same groups are more similar to other data points in the same group and dissimilar to the data points in other groups. It is one of the important data mining methods for discovering knowledge in multidimensional data. The goal of clustering is to identify pattern or groups of similar objects within a data set of interest. There are several packages used for cluster analysis. I shall use two packages, the cluster package and the facto extra package. You can install these packages by using install.package function. This will take some time while installing package files from CRAN. Cluster package is used for distance measures while facto extra package is used for ggplot2 based elegant visualization of clustering results. To load the package use library function. After this you can use our functions in the cluster package to compute clustering algorithms. You can also use help function to learn more about the given function. For example if you want to know more about k-means function type question mark before k-means. After installation and loading of packages next step is to import data in R. Before importing data in R first thing to do is to prepare data file according to the given instructions. Use first row as column names that represent variables. Use first column as row names that represent observations. Avoid column names with blank spaces. For example, good name for plant height is to place underscore or dot between the two words. A bad name for plant height is to give space between plant and height. Avoid name with special symbols. Avoid beginning variable names with a number. Use letter instead. Avoid blank rows in your data. Delete any comments in your file. Replace missing values with na using na.omit function. Use four digit format for column containing date. After preparing the file, next step is to save the file. Save the file either as .txt or .csv format. .txt file is tab delimited text file and .csv is comma separated value file. After saving the file next thing is to get the file into R. Use red.delimited function to choose the delimited text data file. Use red.csv function to choose the comma separated csv file. Use red.csv2 function to choose the semicolon separated file. There are several built-in demo data sets in R for playing with R functions. These include US arrests, IRIS and MT cars. To load a demo data set you can use the data function. Use the head function to print rows. Default function prints up to 6 rows. You can assign a value to print the data to a desired row. For example using 3 will print up to 3rd row. To select certain column from a data set you should use dollar sign in between data file and variable name. To perform analysis, first load the data. You can use a short name for the data file as df in this case. After importing or loading data into R you need to do two things before measuring distances. First you need to remove any missing values that may be present in this data set. Use na.omit function to replace any missing values with na. Second thing is to scale the data as we do not want clustering to depend to an arbitrary value. This is particularly recommended when variables are measured in different scales. The scaling goal is to make variables more comparable. Generally variables are scaled to have one value for standard deviation and zero value for mean. The data is also standardized if the mean and standard deviation of variables is largely different. Scaling will transform the data as ratio between two deviations with numerator as mean deviation or median deviation and denominator as standard deviation or interquartile range or median absolute range. This approach is widely used in gene expression data analysis before clustering. Use scale function in R console to standardize the data. 
Again you can use the head function to see the scaled data file. For computing distance measures we can use three methods which include Euclidean distance, correlation based distance and distance for mixed data. First we shall see how to compute Euclidean distance. Use distance function in R console to compute this distance matrix. For method option you can use any of the given distance measuring methods. To make it easier to see the distance information generated by distance function, round the values in distance vector using as dot matrix function. Here range of 1 to 3 represents first 3 columns and first 3 rows, respectively. The value 1 represents the decimal place you want to use in distance measures. In this distance matrix result, the values represent the distance between the objects. The values in the diagonal represent the distance between the objects and themselves which are zero. The second type is to compute correlation-based distance measures. This type is commonly used in gene expression data analysis. To compute correlation-based distances use get distance function after loading facto extra package by using library function. First use library function to load facto extra package. Then use get distance function to compute correlation based distances. For correlation method you can use Pearson, Spearman, or Kendall option. Pearson correlation is the most commonly used method. It is also known as a parametric correlation which depends on the distribution of the data. Kendall and Spearman correlations are non-parametric associations which are used to perform rank-based correlation analysis. To round the values to one decimal place use as dot matrix function. The above two distance measuring methods accepts numeric data. However, for data containing both numeric and non-numeric or mixed data, DAISY function is used to compute the distances. In DAISY function, the Gower's coefficient which is one of the most popular measures of proximity for mixed data types will be used as the metric. Here we shall use a different example of flower data which contain factor, ordered factor, and numeric variables. For this purpose first load cluster package in library. Then load flower data using data function. You can use head function to see how the data looks like. Use structure function to see the variable information whether the variable is comprised of factor, integer, character, or number. This data set contains factors, ordered factors, and number variables. To compute the distance for mixed variables use daisy function. Round the distance matrix to two decimal place using as dot matrix function. After measuring distances next you need to visualize the distance matrix. A simple way to visualize distance matrices is to use the fvis nb clust function in facto extra package. Other specialized methods are also used which will be discussed later on in next video tutorial. To visualize distance matrix first load facto extra package using library function. Then use fvis distance function to visualize the Euclidean matrix. The red color indicates high similarity while blue color indicates low similarity. The color level is proportional to the value of dissimilarity between observations where pure red represents 0 and pure blue represents 1. Similarly for correlation matrix use data.core in the above function. For mixed data matrix use data.daisy matrix in the above function to visualize this matrix. In the next tutorial we shall discuss how to partitioning clustering including k-means, partitioning around metoids and clustering large applications. I hope this video will help you to carry out cluster analysis in R. Please comment below if you have any questions.